Oh, always a good time. I know. It's going to be great weather, too. Elio Castroneves, hey. all the, uh, yeah, I know. Why I, my husband pronounce that so well? I know, well, my husband's obsessed with racing, so I've had to learn all about the IndyCar mm -hmm. stuff. You know it. Yeah, I know. Don't, all right, don't bring your me. sunglasses and your earplugs, Alex. <laughs> yeah, yes. Exactly. I know. My stepdad's also obsessed with yeah. racing. I've been a few times. It's really fun. It's it fun, is fun. But yeah, you need those really big, you know, earmuffs. <laughs> it's really loud out there. Uh, here's a live look over Long Beach. Hey, we see some cars going down right now. That's pretty cool. Uh, Weather is going to be perfect. We are looking at a little bit of a breezy conditions as we go into tomorrow night, but uh, going to be beautiful. We'll see sunshine heading into tomorrow. Temperatures along the coast. Long Beach will. Uh, top out in the uh, lower 70s. So today we were in the lower 70s, but just a few degrees above where we should be this time of year. Felt really nice out there, but a few gusty conditions, especially uh, areas like the Santa Clarita Valley, the Los Angeles and Ventura County Mountains, as well as areas of the Inland Empire. So all wind advisories have since expired, but uh, we will continue to see these gusts at least through the overnight hours. So take a look at our future cast wind gusts uh, as we go into tonight. So continue to see those gusts, especially through those wind prone areas like the Santa Clarita Valley all the way out towards Malibu. As we head into Saturday morning, things will finally start to calm down. Now we could see uh, an eddy circulate right offshore that could bring us a little bit of fog as we go into uh, Saturday morning, but then onshore flow is going to increase as we head into Sunday morning. That will definitely bring us a little bit of fog, especially uh, along the coast, but more sunshine expected for tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies, temperatures warmer as well. This is going to be the warmest day we see for the weekend. Definitely upper 70s for Glendale. Palmdale sitting in the mid 70s tomorrow. Whittier in the lower 80s for tomorrow. So some areas will reach the lower 80s. Corona in the mid 70s heading into tomorrow. So uh, that area of low pressure, that inside slider that brought us those gusty conditions yesterday, even today, well, that's going to move out towards the southeast. High pressure builds right behind it. That brings us clearer skies, warmer temperatures for tomorrow. Uh, but then Sunday, you'll notice this ridge will flatten and bring in a little bit more cloud cover uh, to southern in California and an area of low pressure dipping down from the Pacific Northwest. You can see we'll bring rain all the way up to Northern California, but uh, for us, we're going to skirt that and we will just see some cooler temperatures from that low and you know, springtime. So we see these oscillations and right behind that, another area of high pressure really will be a strong one and bring us very warm temperatures heading into the end of next week. So take a look at the seven day forecast next Thursday, Friday. We're talking uh, lower 80s for the beaches, mid 80s for LA and Orange County, upper 80s for the valleys and we could potentially even see lower 90s. That's something we're going to watch as we head into the next few days and that could be the warmest we've seen this season. Back to you.